In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to write that final and fifth paragraph of a persuasive essay. Now, these three things need to be included in that final fifth paragraph, and I do want you to write these down in your notes. So first of all, you're going to be having a transition concluding sentence. Okay, you also will want to restate your three main points. We are not introducing anything new in this final paragraph at all. And then you want to end your paragraph with a final concluding sentence. Okay, so write these three main points down, and then we'll get into how to go about writing the fifth paragraph. So just like any other paragraph within the persuasive essay, you do need to have a transition sentence. Now, you can see right here on my outline and on your outline that you're going to be writing the conclusion paragraph. So you do need a concluding transition sentence, okay? And what I mean by that, just a sentence that kind of wraps up the overall statement or persuasive position that you're trying to persuade your audience to come to. Okay, so I have a sentence that says, overall, it is clear the Snickers candy bar is the most delicious candy bar in the world. So once again, I am using um, my thesis statement within this transition sentence. I'm using words, the word overall, to kind of wrap everything up. So their transition words you might use could be in conclusion, finally, those types of words that show that the piece is coming to an end. And then once again, I am restating my three main points that I talked about in my first paragraph. I'm not talking about anything else but those three main points. So I want to talk about the chocolate and caramel again, just to go over these points again, the peanuts, and finally, the creamy nougat. So what I want you to do now, I do want you to pause the video. I want you to write a concluding sentence for that fifth paragraph and then also just those three main points that were a part of your first paragraph just like I have right on my outline. So do this now, so pause the video now. Okay, now I'm going to show you what your fifth and final paragraph will look like. You will be doing this during writing class today, so you do need to come with your outline completed, ready to write this final paragraph. Alright, so you can see with mine I have my my transition sentence overall it is clear that the Snickers candy bar is the most delicious candy bar in the world. You can see my thesis statement, the Snickers candy bar is the most delicious candy bar in the world. So you do want to restate that thesis statement right in that transition sentence. Okay, now I'm going to talk about my three main points. I'm just going to say parts of the bar that make it the best are the chocolate and caramel. Okay, now that's my first main point in my first paragraph right up here. The peanuts, okay, I have in my first paragraph next, the peanuts are a great part of the Snickers, and creamy nougat. And then I have in my first paragraph, finally, the creamy nougat makes this candy bar to die for. We don't have to go into detail again because we already did that in the middle, second, third, and fourth paragraph. And then I want to end my final paragraph with some type of phrase that kind of ties everything together, a catchy kind of ending, calling the reader to really take your position. So I just end with a question, why would you waste your time eating anything else? Okay, so this fifth and final paragraph, once, once again, needs to include a transition concluding sentence, restate your three main points, and then end with a final concluding sentence. So this concludes the video on how to write the fifth and final paragraph of a persuasive essay. If you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.